All right, guys, so this is a half horsepower DC electric motor and these field coils you can see are completely burned up. This means that we have to get creative, get these coils out and count how many turns of wire are in these coils. Two hours later and tons of counting, I realized we got 1500 wires in each coil. Now I can set our winding head up so that I can make a coil of the same size and use a number 33 gauge wire and spin it 1500 times. I sped the video up at this point just so you don't got to sit around and watch it turn 1500 times. You can see how the coil sits on this winding head and then I can collapse that winding head and remove this coil off of there and there it is, our 1500 turns. I wanted these coils to lay a little tighter to the stack, but you can see that there's some spring action to these things. And on the top one, you can see I tied some string around it, ran it through the stator, tied it on the other side, and I was able to tighten these down and get them to sit right where I wanted so that our end bells will still be able to sit in this and support our armature. Now we can't just slap this thing back together the way it is, or these wires are going to flex all around, they're going to rub against each other, and ultimately they're going to short. So the next thing we have to do is put it in a VPI, the vacuum pressure impregnation tank, which pulls a vacuum and it sucks all the varnish all in between all the tiny little wires in there. And now we can put it in an oven, it will cure and harden these coils. Cheers guys.